Hey guys, I am going to fry my okra real quick for my dinner, so I thought you guys might want to watch how I fry my okra. Uh, it's a very simple, easy, quick process, so I'm going to get everything set up, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so what I've got here, I've got okra that I had frozen, uh, fresh okra that I froze, and I actually have a device that I use to... Uh, to um, batter my stuff it's a batter pro so if you don't have one you can do this in a bowl or you can do it in a ziploc baggie however you want to but i'm first things first i'm gonna go ahead and cut my oil on i've got about an inch and a half to two inches of uh just vegetable oil in the bottom of my the bottom of my skillet and i always like to season my vegetables as well as my cornmeal so i'm going to go ahead and put a little garlic powder and be fairly liberal with your seasonings on this stuff. It has a tendency when it uh, when it um, cooks to, I don't know, to lose some of it something or another, you know. Uh, so I do salt, pepper, um, a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and that's essentially, that's essentially it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take my hands here. And I'm going to wrap, get my okra here. Just get my seasoning all over my okra. All right. Now, I've got this little pan here that uh, is the other side of my batter pro that I've got. And I'm going to take my cornmeal. And it's just regular cornmeal. And I'm just going to shake some out into this batter. To the bottom of into the bottom of this. All right. And then I'm also going to do the same thing. I'm going to take liberal amounts of garlic powder. Oops. Onion powder. Pepper. And a little shake or two of salt and I'm going to get a fork and I'm going to run it through the batter run it through the not the batter the the uh, cornmeal just to make sure all these good seasonings get mixed up good in the cornmeal I'm going to take my cornmeal and I'm going to dump it on top of my okra I'm going to put my little sifter in here put the lid on it and we're gonna go to shaking shake 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 I love this thing I use it all the time if you don't have one I recommend getting one because it perfectly batters stuff now, I only use cornmeal in my uh, okra a lot of people use flour too I do not I only use cornmeal all right, see how it looks. Let's take the lid off of it. Woo, perfectly battered. All right, so as soon as our um, oil gets hot enough, we can start frying this up. And uh, sometimes it, you know, <clears throat> sometimes it takes a few minutes for your um, batter. Like for your, I got too many things going at one time, y'all. I'm not thinking correctly. Um, sometimes it takes a few minutes before that grease <clears throat> gets uh, good in there but see as you can see and this thing perfectly separated the cornmeal that wasn't used so that's why I love love this batter pro I'd highly recommend getting one of these I don't even know where I got it I've probably had it for 15 years <clears throat> probably received it as a Christmas gift if the truth be known so we're gonna wait just a few minutes before I drop the uh, okra in the skillet and I'll be right back with you okay so my grease is definitely ready so I'm going to start putting okra in the pot in the pan I'm just gonna grab handfuls of it and just throw it in there You want to try to get it, you know, about one layer. You don't want to stack it up too, too high. I'm getting cornmeal everywhere, y'all. Making such a mess. 
got this turned up pretty high, so I'll probably turn it down a little bit once it, <clears throat> once I see that it's going to maintain this temperature while it's frying. Um, but you know, to me, fried okra is almost like popcorn. You can just sit and eat it and eat it till you're about sick. It's so delicious. Um, so, got that in. And, I'll show you. As y'all can see, I am busy. Got lots going on on this uh, stove up here. I've got potatoes boiling for mashed potatoes, and I've got giblet gravy for my dressing that's in the oven cooking. So we are busy, busy up here right now. So um, we're gonna let this cook. You're not. Here's the key. Just like I said in one of my other videos, the key to successful frying of anything is to not touch it. You put it in the pan, and you want to leave it. You don't want to keep turning and messing with it and messing with it. Just leave it alone. Let it go. Don't even turn it until you notice it kind of looking like it's getting brown on one side. Um, because if you do, your crust is going to come off and the, the more you flip it, the more your crust comes off. So you really, I mean, that's the whole point in a fried okra is the crust. I mean, that's what makes it so yummy and delicious. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let this fry for a few minutes. It's going to take quite a while for this to fry up. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch it while it fries, <laughs> but uh, I will show you what it looks like when I flip it. Okay, I'm going to turn this okra. It looks like it's getting pretty brown on the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure if y'all can really see uh, the okra, but it has shrunk quite considerably, and it will do that. So I'll just take it, scoop it, flip it best you can. I mean, you're not going to get every single piece flipped perfectly, of course. But I don't know if you can tell or not, but it is really golden brown. It's really coming up really nicely. I don't, like I said, I don't know if you how well you can see it um, on my camera, but uh, they're frying up really nice. I'd say another, you know, five, ten minutes, this is going to be ready to pull out. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the uh, frying pan. And here is the finished product. Look at that pretty fry on that okra. It's perfectly browned. Just enough batter. I don't like a real heavy breading on my uh, okra. I like it to just be lightly battered. And this is absolutely perfect, y'all. Um, I cannot wait to get into that tonight. I know that's, this was a quick little video. Uh, like I said, there's not much to frying okra or squash or any vegetable like that that you want to uh, fry up. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys see how I did it, how easy it is. And y'all do it because it's so easy to do. Anyone could fry okra. It's not something we eat on a weekly basis. But uh, when we do, it sure is good. Once again, I hope you all have a fabulous week. Um, God bless each and every one of you. And thank you so much for watching my videos. And I'll talk to you real soon.